the public boom poem. Then we are going to stop six times and make a word. The, the idea is that you are only half human because you are lending half your humanity to the letter. So remember, be, remember to be very extravagant and crazy. I am not a performance artist. I am a poet and the uh, source of the uh, pu public uh, poems is language. So that's why I like to use just letters, something very pure and very strict and use nothing else. Because I think what is really unique is to use the, the letter or the word uh, in, in, the, in the street. So that it's the word in the street. Because when in 1970, approximately, or uh, 67 actually, when I was looking around in the street somewhere, I said, well, if I can write on a page, if I can put letters and words on a page or even on a sheet of plexiglass, then I can do, put it on a street. I can write on the street. When I was 14 years old, I knew I was a poet. I loved poetry and what I felt in poetry was that the word had a substance because everyday language uh, has no kind of um, permanence or uh, even it just floats away, it drifts. It's like a dream that you forget when you wake up. But poetry, the, the, the words are as if they were made of gold or marble. I had the poetry movement, uh, this is concrete and visual poetry, really uh, took off where Dada stopped, in a way. And part of that being with um, a certain Paul de Vries, great friend, wonderful poet, here in Antwerp in 19... 70, I think I met him, and right away, you know, I, I, the guy is great. I loved him, so I worked on the magazine Tafel Rond, and we, we we did things, I suppose, you know, fairly similar. Uh, not that visual poetry is really Dada, but it certainly is, has a great deal to do with uh, that freedom with with letters and with words and writing. Oh. Oh. Boom. Those are the key words from Van Alsayen's most famous poem, or one of his most, I guess, Boom. And for each line, each verse of the poem, I took one, one, one word. Because all concepts varen. Here we go. Oh God! <laughs> the end of Western civilization and the beginning of silly times. Whoa. They threw all the letters on top of me. And that was not planned. You know, just some wise guy. It was some wise guy had the idea. I loved it. So, <laughs> so that's that's one of the things, and that for me is what the public poem is. You know, accidental. Oh, oh I knew one day this would happen. The letters have turned off. Byron, Keats, Shelley, I'm coming with you. I'm almost there. Yeah, there were some very good improvised moments. There was, that's one of the things I really love about the public poem, is things that happen by accident. So let's see a little bit of Razen. Ah, 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 Yes. And then we had, for example, uh, in uh, um, Gazin, in front of the cathedral, and in Van Ossian's poem, it is basically uh, the Wanklin, right? Wanklin, the, the shaking, the... Uh, of, of, of family values uh, that he sees in one verse. That's why that word, gazin, the letters are all trembling and shaking. So it's the, the thinginess 
of, of words that, that I loved. And then, and then you, you sort of, you know, sort of, it's soft. This is a soft, sensual, lovely moment which will inspire people around the world, anyway, in, in the square. And uh, it should be lovely and romantic, sort of. Uh, throw your hand this way, the rest, the rest of you stay there. And then one of the great things is that, you know, that when the team, people, like, when they really get into it, it's really fun. I mean, they like it, and I, we get along well together. We have, you know, people have fun. Please, no. Help. Help. I am the victim here. This has got nothing to do with this institution. No. Nothing. Do not think that. I would not say a thing like that, would I? This for me is really fundamental that you never, never to forget the child in yourself. Yeah. I mean, I am quite childish. <laughs> we gotta, let's face it. <laughs>